This activity is in continuation of the previous activity in which we were configuring uh, a small network and uh, we have already configured a router uh, and now we are going to configure the other devices. All right, so we have already configured the router RTA. So now let's go back and configure PC1. So we click on PC1, go to the desktop and IP configuration. So this PC has not been configured with an IP address. So I'm going to give uh, the IP address 10.10.10.10. All right. And also the default gateway is going to be 10.10.10.1. All right. So I have configured this PC1. Now I'm going to configure the PC2. Go to go to desktop IP configuration and I'm going to assign the IP address 10.10.20.10. All right. And the default gateway is going to be 10.10.20.1. So now I'm going to configure uh, switch one, which is SW1. And I'm going to configure this switch for remote management. And why do I have to configure this switch? Because this switch needs to be configured. It is possible that I, you know, I will be configuring it uh, remotely. And for that, I have to assign an IP address to the software interface of this switch, which we call VLAN. So we're going to go to this switch. All right. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to go to the CLI, press enter. It asks me for the password. The password is Cisco. And, and, and then I will go into the privilege exit mode. Password is uh, class. All right. So now, uh, so le let me first see how many interfaces are already configured. Show IP interface brief. All right. Um, so it has, you know, a bunch of fast Ethernet uh, ports, 2 gigabit Ethernet port. And the VLAN is the software port that we have to configure in order to, you know, configure the switch remotely. So, for, so I'm going to, you know, configure this, uh, you know, switch. Uh, so config T interface VLAN 1. All right, so I'm going to assign an IP address to this interface. So the IP address that I'm going to assign is 10.10.10.2. And the subnet mass is going to be 255.255.255.0. All right. And I and also I have to assign a default gateway. So this is the you know the uh, the command to basically configure a default gateway. IP default gateway and then the address ten dot ten dot ten dot one. All right, no shutdown. Oh, we don't need this. Okay, exit show show IP interface brief oh so we have successfully configured the VLAN with the IP address so I'm gonna save the configuration copy running config startup config so after configuring the switch SW1 for remote management, uh, we're going to gather the information with some show commands. So there are multiple, uh, you know, show commands that we can use. One we have already used, which is uh, show IP, uh, show IP interface brief. There is another command, which is show interfaces, show interfaces. So that, that, basically you know shows me all the interfaces uh, of the machine whether it is a switch or or a router 
and their their you know properties their parameters okay and we can i can also basically execute them let, let me go to the router rta1 because this switch has so many you know uh, interfaces so this will basically you know cisco oh it was virtual and then enable all right and show ip interface all right so it shows me all the interfaces of this router and i can also basically you know check the uh, routing uh, table of this uh, router so i can write show ip route it shows me the routing table so as you can see this uh, router i mean the routing table of this router has uh, two uh, entries so two directly connected uh, routes one is uh, this one and the other is this one all right so they're all directly connected route and i can also basically filter this uh, information by writing uh, show ip route and then only connected so this will only show me the connected uh, uh, routes in the routing table so but i mean even if you do not remember those uh, commands you can always you know uh, use the help so show ip route and then the question mark and it shows you all the different parameters that you can use like word bgp connected eigrp ospf rip static and summary so so what if i write static it shows me the static there are no static routes that i have configured in this in this router and summary they are you know so they, so this will give you the summary of the of the routing information uh, in the routing table 